Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Chad with Living the Van Life. This time around, we're up in Glacier National Park here in Montana, USA. It is quite spectacular, this park. The scenes coming through the bottom valley of the park, absolutely spectacular. Anyways, I'm just getting things uh, ready to hunker down here inside the van. I'm gonna spend the night and wake up and do some hiking. Today, I got out into the North Fork of the Flathead River, which is supposed to be some pretty spectacular fly fishing, but unfortunately, I came up skunked for today, but nonetheless, it was good to get out on the river and throw some flies. All right, guys, I'm gonna hit the hay, gonna hunker down, We'll catch you in the morning.
the accident. Holy shit, I couldn't get the camera rolling fast enough for that. I just had the camera rolling. I heard something like a freight train coming down the trail. Next thing I know, there's a full grown adult male bighorn sheep literally barreling, galloping as fast as it could down the trail. It was all I could do to jump up off the trail and I couldn't get the camera rolling enough. That was freaking insane. It was charging full bore as fast as it could. Luckily I was able to get a couple feet up off the trail and it just barreled by me. It was on a mission. Wow. That was insane. Holy shit. I literally had maybe two seconds to get off the trail, otherwise I would have been right in the middle of them. Whew. Gnarly. Well, that was a close encounter. I mean, it was within a foot or two. I could feel the wind of it go by me. I look up the trail and it's like coming straight at me. And it wasn't stopping for nothing. I didn't know if it was after me. All I could do is scramble up the side of the hill. Luckily, I just kept on going. Wow. That was intense. Damn it, I wish I had that on film, though. That would have made this video primo. Darn it. Okay, well, the cool part is I just reviewed the footage, and I did happen to catch the tail end of it galloping by. So at least I do have proof that it actually did happen. It's coming! It's coming! Just a short clip of it as it disappears around the corner, but you can see how it was at a full freaking gallop. Eye to eye with a bighorn sheep. That's gnarly. I've made it about five and a half miles out here on the Highline Trail. 
to a spot that I believe is called Haystack Saddle. Uh, that's what I gather anyways. Like I said, five and a half miles out here had actually some rain set in. This was totally unexpected, not predicted at all, but that's what happens when you get up here into the mountains. And it's definitely set in. My plan was make it up here to the top and actually cook some lunch in the jet boil. I brought some miso soup and some tea. I was gonna enjoy lunch up here, but because this rain has set in and I still have five and a half miles to get back to the van, I'm gonna keep moving because my muscles are warmed up, I'm warmed up, and I don't wanna get cold and have to make that trek back, so I'm gonna stay warm while I can. But anyways, we're up here at about 7,000 feet elevation, and it was an amazing hike out here through the Rockies of Glacier National Park. Well, I'm already starting to get cold again. Had a couple sips of water. I'm gonna button up my backpack, put the rain fly on it, and hit the trail. See if I can beeline myself back to the van and get dry again. I actually made it back to the van all in one piece. What an experience that hike was. The scenes amazing, the trails, how they built it along those rock cliffs, absolutely treacherous. But that's what makes hikes like that fun is because you feel like you're living a little bit on the edge. It ended up being about nine miles altogether round trip. It was very, very cool to get out and experience that. And guys, I gotta tell you, that close call with that ram, that was insane. I am actually pretty glad that I caught just the last tail end of that thing running down the trail because to just tell a story like that, like it just wouldn't connect. I don't think anybody would believe me, but I saw that thing. Him and I looked eye to eye as that thing was just galloping straight at me. That was pretty crazy. Right now I am hunkered down inside the van. This weather actually took a turn for the worse and it was totally unexpected. 
In fact, I had every intention of cooking a meal in the jet boil up at the top where I hiked to, but because that rain came in and the temperature was getting down, I still had about a four and a half mile hike to get back to the van. So I hoofed it back to the van quickly. In fact, right now it is 43 degrees Fahrenheit outside. That is six degrees Celsius. To be honest with you, because I was soaking wet, this is the first time this season of 2020 that I've turned the diesel heater on. So the diesel heater is on inside the van. Inside the van, it is 76 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 24 degrees Celsius. I'm glad that now I'm back here in the shelter of the van to stay warm and dry and enjoy my soup. And a cup of licorice peppermint tea. That's a great way to warm up and recover from a hike. Mm. Wow. This miso soup is actually pretty darn good. Just boil up some water drop in a packet of the miso soup. In this case, I dropped in two because I was hungry. That's actually really delicious. Perfect for going out backpack camping or just a day hike and you want a snack on the, on the way. All you need is some water, a package of miso soup or two, very good. certainly was not expecting this weather. I was hoping to be able to do a couple more hikes while I was out here in Glacier National Park, but that's gonna be weather dependent. I might take a trip back down the mountain to get into some cell phone service and see what the weather is. Well, I made it down out of Logan Pass, down off the road to the sun, and back into service so that I could check out the weather. And lo and behold, as soon as I left the top of the mountain, of course the weather breaks. But once I did get back down here to service and check the weather, this area is due for rain the next four days solid. So I think it's about time to call this van adventure a wrap up here in Glacier National Park and I'm gonna head out and go see where I can find the next adventure out here in Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Idaho, wherever it may be. I'm gonna hit the road and go find out. If you guys have made it this far into the video, I'd like to invite you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button, because that's what's gonna notify you anytime videos like this are uploaded. And make sure and leave a comment in the comment section down below because I love to hear your guys' feedback on the content. Make sure and hit the like button and share it because that's what gets these videos out to the masses. All right, guys, I'm gonna hit the road and catch you on the next adventure. Peace out, keep on trucking. <laughs>